Melanitan and the successor, which is Melanitan 2. I mean, tinfoil hat Russo here. Oh boy. You know, this did not see the light of day with the amount of money in the tanning industry. This could definitely be a giant disruptor if this ever broke out of the biohacking spear into the mainstream because simply it was an injection. When I messed around with Melanitan about four years ago, I was injecting before I went to the wave pool and I thought like, wow, you know, this is this revolutionary peptide that has been shown in certain studies to have anti-cancer properties. And overall, when you think about it, like if I would do a little bit of melanotan before going in the tanning bed, I could overall be less exposed in the tanning bed for more tanning, thus reducing the amount of the time I'm in the bed, which is cancerous. That was great. But then I'm like, yeah, no one wants to inject this peptide all the time. Overall, I think what stopped it from like breaking out into the mainstream was the injectable administration.